Hello, welcome to Pixel Lab tutorial. Um, today we'll be looking at the Bezel tool in the Pixel Lab app. Alright, basically we'll be looking at the different functionalities in the Bezel tool. Okay, the first function is the Bezel mode. The next is the actions. Then the stroke. Under the stroke, we have the stroke width, the opacity, and the stroke color. Back to Bezel mode. In the Bezel mode, the first icon is to add points. Okay, so if I should click on the first icon and tap on the screen. Okay, so any points I tap on the screen, there will be an extension of the curve to that point. Now, you can transform the points with the second icon and also transform the shape of the curve using the second function. If I should click on the second function, there will be an extension, this white extension here. If I should click on it, I can drag it around and change the shape of the curve. Okay, so depending on what you want to create, you can tap on each point, then edit the shape of the curve. Okay, now to transform the point itself, click on the point, the exact point in the curve. Then click and hold, then move around. Notice as the old points move around. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now the second icon in the bezel mode is to transform the whole shape. To transform means just to move around. So if I should click on it, I can move the shape without transforming it, um, without deforming it rather. Okay. Now the second is the actions. In the actions, the first icon is to delete points. So if I should click on the first icon, a point is deleted. Now to bring back that point, that's just using the bezel mode. Okay, because in bezel mode, the first icon helps us to add points. So if I should come back and click on the first icon, then tap on the screen, then there is a creation of a second point. Okay. Now let me change the look by changing the shape of the curve so that it looks like just before. Alright. And I can see transform with this, which is the third icon in the bezel mode. Now back to the actions. Now the second icon in the actions in bezel tool is to connect the points. Such that there won't be an open curve. If I should click on it, there will be a connection. Okay. So we no longer have an open curve. I can deactivate it by clicking on it again. All right, activate, deactivate, activate, deactivate. Now, the third icon in actions is to uh, is to scale, okay? To change how big or how small the shape should look like. If I should click on it, if I should click on it. Then the scale uh, bar pops up. I can affect the shape by just moving the bar. Okay, I can make it bigger or smaller just using the scale bar, or by just clicking on the plus and the minus. All right. Stay on action. The last icon is to rotate the shape. I should click on it and there will be a rotating bar all right notice as it rotates back now coming to stroke the first is the stroke width which is just to change the thickness okay I can make it bigger or just smaller or just medium just in the middle all right now we can make the tip to be rounded or just flat. To be rounded means just using the first icon in the stroke width. Now if you want to flatten it a bit, now watch as the tip flattens as I touch the second icon in the stroke width. Alright, so we now have a flat tip stroke. Now if you want to extend the flat tip just beyond the point, click on the third icon. Okay, so 
So that's all for the stroke width. Now coming to opacity, opacity just to increase the brightness, not just the brightness but the transparency so I can make it more transparent and also make it just disappear. Okay. Now the last, this is just to change the color. So you can use a pure color or a gradient. Okay, so I can select a color here, just a pure color or just a gradient. Okay. All right, these are gradients. So that's all for the Bezel tool in the Pixel Lab app. Now let's create a shape using this tool. Let's go back. Then click on the Bezel tool. All right, let's form an S. Now to form an S, we just need two points of the Bezel tool. Already we have the two points. Now let's transform the points so that we have an S a bit. So to transform the points, we click on the second icon in the Bezel mode. So let me bring this here a bit. Then this here too. Now let's change the shape of the curve until we have an S. Alright. Now let's come to the width and let's increase the width a bit and let me flatten the tip and push it out so it looks more like an S. Then mark. Okay. So you can do a lot of things with just this shape that you just created. For example, I could change the background. Okay. For example, I'm using gradient for the background. Then this might just be a logo. Okay, just a type logo. All right. So I can add a text. Standard designs. Now well, this is just a random name, so I can change the, um, the fonts a bit to become rounded because almost what is on the shape is rounded, just the tips. All right, so that's all for the bezel tool.